Hello everybody, welcome to a train simulator video. Today we shall be driving the class 170 Turbo Star DMU from Ipswich to Felixstowe and return. So the first thing we need to do is turn off the pause menu and open the doors by pressing T. The train has the Armstrong Powerhouse Turbo Star Enhancement Pack installed, so the startup procedure is a little bit different to the default one. So we need to press Shift and W to turn the master key, press S to put the train into gear, and cancel the automatic warning system by pressing Q. Now the next thing we need to do is put the train into neutral gear, and press Ctrl D to turn on the vigilance device. Uh, an alarm will sound at every 60 seconds, and we must respond to it by pressing E. The vigilance device won't sound unless we've altered, uh, if we've altered the uh, power controller within the 60 second period as the train knows that we are actively in control of the train. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the train's headlights by pressing K to turn off the tail lights and H to turn on the daytime li uh, running lights. And if I exit the train and swing the camera around we need to press F7 to change the destination indicator to display Felix Stowe. and with the signal ahead of us displaying a green aspect we can turn off the driver reminder appliance by pressing the Y button and with that the train is ready for departure So departing Ipswich, the starting speed limit is 25 miles an hour, and our first station stop is Westerfield, which is in about 3 miles away. Parked on the right are a pair of class 86s and a class 90 electric, electric locomotives displaying several ver different variants of Freightliner livery. The speed limit is now increased to 40 miles an hour so just going to start applying power. And now we're encountering another jump to 50 miles an hour. Also on the right we have two freight trains which are being hauled by class uh, 66 diesel locomotives, one in uh, GB rail freight livery, the other in freight line livery. Just going to drop the power now as the speed is dropping back down to 40 miles an hour. And the speed limit is now increased to, to uh, 60 miles an hour.
the Turbo Star Enhancement Pack is available to buy from Armstrong Powerhouse at £11.99 and it comes with various different uh, features uh, such as new running sounds, uh, new operating, uh, new driving physics uh, and a bunch of different liveries which a Class 170 has worn in uh, regular service along with uh, Class 168 and Class 171 variants as well. Just dropping the power off now as we've uh, reached line speed. Just going to start breaking down for a 40 mile an hour limit. And here we are at Westerfield. So departing Westerfield it's just starting to rain so I'm just turning on the wipers so we can see where we're going. And we're now encountering a drop down to 35 miles an hour as we turn on to the uh, turn towards the uh, Felix Stowe branch proper. Our next station stop is Derby Road which is about 2 miles away. With the weather in mind we've also got to uh, take care of our acceleration and braking as the enhancement pack also brings the wheel slip protection and wheel slide features. The line speed has now increased to 50 miles an hour so I'm just going to start increasing ever so gently towards that speed now. So it's going to take us uh, longer uh, the norm uh, longer to accelerate up to line speed than it would in drier uh, rail conditions.
So as we approach 50 miles an hour, I'm just going to start cutting power to the train and I'm just going to have to watch the speed here as the gradient is now falling. So I'm just going to put a step bomb brake application on. The gradient has now just leveled out a little bit. We are now approaching Derby Road, so I've put the train into a step two brake application. Just going to release the brakes now. And I'm going to start applying them again. And here we are at Derby Road. Departing Derby Road, the next station stop is Trimley, which is about seven miles away.
Speed limit has now just increased to 75 miles an hour. And this will be the maximum achievable speed for the journey today. So in all the time I've had the uh, Great Eastern route for uh, Train Simulator, this is actually the very first time I've actually covered the Felix Star branch for a video. And that's just purely because there haven't been really any scenarios for it, um, and I haven't had any time to make my own for the branch. Uh, though this enhancement pack has presented me the opportunity to do the Felix Star branch now. There are a number of footpath crossings on this section of a branch, so when we encounter a whistleboard we need to sound the low note of a horn. It has just stopped raining, so I'm just going to turn the wipers off now. And we're now at line speed. We've now got uh, five miles to go to Trimley.
So I'm just going to start sliding the uh, train down for Trimley now. And here we are at Trimley Station. We get advance warning of a 40 mile an hour speed restriction, which comes into effect just after the next signal. We've now got a mile to go towards uh, Felixstowe Town, which is the final stop on the branch. Got to start breaking down for this 40 mile an hour limit now. And the speed is now 40 miles an hour all the way into the terminus at Felix Stowe.
and we'll stop about here and here we are at Felix Stowe so I'm just going to shut the train down at this end and I'm going to turn off the uh, train engine by pressing Control Z as we've got a bit of uh, waiting time here so there's no point in just idling the uh, uh, engine and wasting uh, diesel I'm now going to switch ends and I'm going to set the cab up at this end And I'll press F8 to turn the uh, destination indicator to Ipswich. And there we are, the uh, train is now ready to uh, go back in the other direction to Ipswich. So just while we're waiting here, I'll just give you a bit of an update on what's happening. Uh, firstly, I need to apologise for the sound of my voice. I'm just getting over a uh, cold, but I think I'm over the worst of it now. So hopefully I should be as right as rain uh, within the next uh, few uh, week, uh, next couple of weeks after recording this video. Uh, I've also been working on the uh, a review of the Armstrong Powerhouse and Wagons Class One Four Two Pacer. Uh, the script has been written and I've recorded all of the narration. However, uh, whilst I've been recording the narration, I have noticed an error in the script, so I've had to change that. Um, but in, whilst doing that, I have um, I did pick up this cold, so um, I've just I had to postpone work on that uh, whilst I wait until I get rid of this cold because I don't want to sound inconsistent uh, on the narration part. So as soon as this cold is cleared, I will uh, re-record uh, the lines that I need to and resume work on it. I've also been away the uh, past uh, couple of weekends as well. Uh, I went to Kirby Stephen on Easter Sunday for the vintage bus rally there. Uh, there was uh, sort of a, we didn't really know whether it would be take uh, going ahead uh, this year or not because the organisers of uh, past events had stepped down. Uh, though fortunately, a community group have stepped in to organise it. Uh, as it does bring uh, quite a lot of um, uh, visitors to the town, uh, it's quite an important event. Uh, but I have also been having help from Cumbria Classic coaches, so uh, we did enjoy ourselves at Kirby Stephen uh, this year, and it's uh, it's always a a nice event there. Uh, also, I've just recently been to the Stagecoach Open Day at Kilmarnock, uh, which was also very good. Uh, and that was uh, being uh, held in aid of uh, charity as well. So that uh, that was quite a good event. So I got uh, so I've got some uh, a load of video to uh, sit uh, sit down and edit and hopefully upload to YouTube uh, within the coming months. of the trips out that I have planned in the coming weeks uh, up to uh, Teesside for another uh, to be uh, uh, more specifically the uh, Transporter Bridge at Middlesbrough for another vintage bus, uh, bus rally and then possibly Blackpool for a coach rally though I'm not too sure about Blackpool yet because it all depends on how the weather is and if I'm working or not It's now just started to rain, so I'm just going to put the train wipers on.
As we are due to depart Felix Store in about a minute, I'm just going to turn on the uh, train engine now by pressing Z. And I'm going to get back into the cab and get ready for departure. Departing Felix Toby starting speed limit is 40 miles an hour. Just going to start braking for Trimley now. And here we are at Trimley.
I think it's just stopped raining, so I'm just turning off the wipers now. One thing I do immediately like about the running sounds on this enhancement pack is the sound of the wheels on the track that we get at higher speeds. It really adds to the uh, sense of movement. Just going to start breaking down for a 50 mile an hour speed restriction now.
just going to apply the brakes now for Derby Road Station. And here we are at Derby Road. I'm going to start slowing down for a reduction down to 35 miles an hour.
Now I've got to start braking to stop at Westerfield Station. So departing Westerfield we now just have three miles to go to our final stop at Ipswich. We pass a Freightliner Class 66 which has been waiting for our train to clear the single line section as it, as it heads towards uh, Felixstowe with its uh, container train. And uh, not concentrate now, I've just had a emergency brake application uh, from the vigilance device so we'll just have to wait now until the train comes to a complete stop. Put the train into neutral gear and reset the uh, vigilance device. And we can now uh, uh, depart once again for Ipswich. So that's one disappointing thing, the uh, Class 170 Turbo Star Enhancement Pack doesn't come with any uh, visual alarms for the uh, driver safety device. Hmm. We've just received advance warning of a drop down to 40 miles an hour.
put on the brakes for a 25 mile an hour speed restriction and we are being routed into the same platform we started in and ideally at Ipswich we need to stop the train just before the stopping point which is showing on the HUD so we'll stop the train about here and here we are at Ipswich so I'll just open the doors now and I'll shut the cab down And we'll just wait for the scenario to clear. And there we are, that's the end of the scenario. So we'll just check the briefing and see how we've done. And we've only sped twice in that scenario. And so there we are. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. I've certainly enjoyed uh, making this video despite my uh, cough and cold. So hopefully, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks uh, it should clear up and I should be right as rain. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, take care.